Hey, Jensen, glad to see you. Damn it, now I sound like his girlfriend or something. What do you mean? Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired, worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book? His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. This whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that at any second... God, I can't talk about it. What if another bunch of radicals burst through the door like right now and start shooting? I know. Can you believe those fanatics? I mean, they think taking hostages will get augmentations banned? The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. In here, you can find extra information that may help you better understand what needs to be done.
Missions can be activated or deactivated, depending on if you want them to appear in your radar or not. Deactivated missions can still be completed. Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. But this is where you work. But to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you, after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? They did what they had to do to save me. And in a way, I can do more now than I ever could. I'm glad to know you take it so well. Many of us wouldn't be able to cope so easily with such traumatic changes. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. I can see why she loved you. Not even that degree of mechanical modification could change what she saw in you. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Is there a problem, sir?
don't really have anything against it. I just think it's disgusting. I mean, grafting metal into your skin? Yuck. I guess you don't have any tattoos. It's not the same. You don't need to take drugs for the rest of your life when you have a tattoo. Well, I think what you do to your body is up to you. Yeah? Well, when everybody's done doing what they want, what happens to people like us who refuse to become machines? We become the weaker species, that's what. And the next thing you know, we'll be the ones living in derelict row. Wow, you really don't have an opinion on this, do you? Hey, you seem nice and all, but I'm really not interested. You looking for something? I'm sorry. We're having a private conversation here. What you got in that head of yours? An intelligence chip? You gonna steal some poor natural's job? Hey, pal. I can see you've had some work done, and I'm wondering. What do you think about this augmentation debate? Looks to me like a typical power grab. That's a pretty lame come on, hun. Especially since I just know this humidity is ruining my hair. I ain't got nothing for you. Check with the man. And keep your hands where I can see them. You got anything you want to buy or sell? I'm the guy you want to deal with. Everything's on the computer, right at your fingertips. See you soon. You hard of hearing or something? I ain't got the goods. He does. 